What's going on YouTube? I'm both back with another video for you guys and today you can see by the title I'm going to be showing you guys the most OP gun in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in my opinion obviously but a lot of people do agree. Um, the BAL 27. Now this gun is basically like if I had to compare it to any other gun I'd probably compare it to like an ACR almost an MW2 maybe. It's not as accurate obviously but it's like one of those guns where you can use it in any situation. If you're playing CTF and you're running flags, you can use the bell. If you're in up up close gunfight versus sub, you can use the bell. It's just one of those things that can get you out of pretty much any situation in the game so far. So for the first class, this is one of the classes. Oh, I actually messed up this class. Excuse me for that. But on this class, I actually use stock. So. This is my personal opinion for these two classes. I don't know. Uh, I still got to get used to how the game works and stuff before I start switching things up. But this is my class that I use right now for pubs and even in hardpoint when we play age and stuff. So I got stock, quick draw, grip. I'm strafing back and forth, moving quick. Uh, I have I can aim in quick. So like if I'm stationary, the gun will aim in quicker. And four grip, so obviously it has less recoil. And then I have lightweight. Uh, clearly so you can you don't feel like he well when I play I don't like to feel heavy when I move so I always put lightweight on so I c it feels like I'm moving obviously you move quicker but it's just a comfortability thing so you have lightweight I put flak jacket on toughness so it you know when you get hit when you say you're aiming at someone and you get shot the flinch isn't as bad as it would be with without it then I have flak jacket everyone knows what flak jacket is so when you get hit with nades you can you know barely does damage to you and it won't kill you in one shot and you have exo stim we can read this temporarily generate health beyond normal levels so when you click rb lb uh you'll throw on your stim you'll come out to your arm put it on and it gives you like an extra health like an extra juggernaut then i run two frags obviously exo launcher two frag grenades personally i'm a frag guy most of the people know that i love to throw grenades so i always rock two of them and even for the same second class it's the same thing um but besides a red dot this doesn't make you know you can't strafe as quick but you'll be stationary you can aim in quicker less recoil red dot put your aimer on them um sometimes i do switch this class up i'll throw on cloak you know visually conceal yourself for a short duration so basically uh, you go invisible for however time um there's other things you can obviously put on but most of the people use exo uh overclock uh stem and cloak that's what most of the people use as of right now and trophy system uh you know in ghost you had to like actually take out a trophy and this one you can just it's like a exo so you just lb and you pretty much have a trophy system c attached to you um but yeah i usually use stem on this one and these are the two battle classes i use man this is definitely one of the most op guns you can uh, you switch it up sometimes maybe i'll throw on two stuns obviously everyone knows what a stun is it temporarily stops you from moving for a short period of time or Semtex. I don't really like the Semtexes in this game, but I know you guys love to see my search classes, so I'll show you guys one of the search classes I do use so far. Uh, it's nothing special, clearly, but uh, I'll throw on stock instead of, like, just like the first class, I'll throw on stock. I'll throw on Blast Suppressor, suppressor Toughness, Exo Mute, two nades, or you can do one and add a, another perk or whatever, and then uh, that that's usually the class right here. But in this game, you don't really feel the need to have a second perk. Because think about it, no kill streaks, right? So these two, these three are pretty much irrelevant. Or besides cold blooded for thermals, I guess you can use that. Gung ho, it's like a when you're when you use gung ho when you're sprinting, it like has a glitch. So you're like halfway aiming and then fully aiming, and it's too slow. You won't win any gunfights like that. And then fast hands, obviously you can switch out. You can throw your nades quicker, switch out your guns quicker. But no one really uses that because no one really uses a secondary gun. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did. And there's the most OP gun and advanced warfare.